Oh, forget KFC. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I'm in Suan Lumpini, Bangkok's most famous park. And I'm in the area to get some of Bangkok's most famous food. Today we're going to be starting off with a $1.50 Khao Geng curry rice, all you can eat buffet. And then we're going to be heading over for what is probably Bangkok's most famous fried chicken. Let's go. But just a quick one before we start today's video, I just want to say a big thank you to today's sponsor, Vanessa Smith from Australia. Thank you so much for your generous financial support of the channel. Could not do this without you guys supporting me in this way. So thank you so much, Vanessa. I hope you enjoy today's video. This one mwah, is for you. So in classic Thai style, there is another curry rice shop just before this curry rice shop. That's what happens in Thailand. One place is popular, another place opens exactly the same thing. So you're gonna see all these pink umbrellas. Walk past the first Khao Geng shop and the second Khao Geng shop is Khao Geng Si Si Pa, which is now Khao Geng Ha Si Baht because they put the price up by five baht, um, which is to be expected in the current climate. All right, so first thing I'll notice is whipping up the Pad Buap. Stir for a bit of vegetables with egg. We've got a few things to choose from here, guys. We've got a few things to choose from. All right, so we just get our plate. Bit of rice on there. Not sure there's enough rice for me here, to be honest. I might ask for some more. No, I'm not gonna get too much, because I've got stuff to do. Got more places to go. All right, so let's see what we've actually got here. I need Tom Yum. Yeah, Tom Yum, fried salmon. Uh, salmon, all right, salmon. So we've got a salmon tom yum. Okay, we'll get a bowl of that as well, I guess. And pap bung. Mukrob. All right, fried pork. And then we've got pad no mai hoi. All right, some mussels with bamboo. Ten cup. Alina. Muya. Had muya. Had Alloy me. Alloy. All right, guys. So I'm gonna have the pad muya. So Vietnamese sausage, minced pork, loads of chilies, some green beans, and then I'm gonna go for some of this pad pad bung. I'm going to try and keep this semi-light, guys, so I've got loads of stuff to do, and I'm trying not to drip this anywhere. All right, two. Let's go for three, shall we? So we've also got some uh, fried, like, little sprats. Some wun sen. Do you know what? I'm just going to get a bit of curry, pay, curry, curry sauce. I'm just going to get a bit of curry sauce, put over the rice in the middle. You can have as much of this as you want. It's a buffet. I've been told that... Um, Nangai is aroi mark. Nangai means chicken skin. So I'm going to get some chicken skin. Green and green and red green. Ah, Yeah. Up. Thank you. He speaks English. All right. So let's go through this, guys. So I have got that pad mo yo. So Vietnamese sausage. It actually looks like a hot dog. A little bit of green beans. Some minced pork chilies it's either going to have some fish sauce some soy sauce on it not too sure crispy chicken skin which actually looks a bit like chinese uk chinese chicken like crispy chicken or crispy beef and i've got the pak bung with the he said more crab but i didn't see any more crab this is like more sap but i did just see him cooking some with some more crab in so maybe i'll go back up in a sec all right, let's dig in. So first of all, I'm going to try the uh, the pad mo yar with the with the green beans and the minced pork. Mm. Pretty heavy on the, as I said, I said fish soy sauce, soy sauce. This is dark soy sauce. Crunchy green beans, plenty of minced pork. Not bad. All right. Do you know what? I just want to get a little bit of the the curry sauce. All right. So I got the sauce out of the. Genkai, the curry chicken. 
Sweet coconut milk, classic, creamy Thai curry. Mmm. Mmm. All right, the, the Nangai Papi Gang. It does have a kind of like English, Chinese, or American, you know, like a Western Chinese, Hong Kong style takeaway. You know when you get like sweet and sour chicken or sweet and sour beef and it's like crispy beef covered in like a sticky glaze. It's like that, but this sticky glaze is like a sweet curry flavor. Loads and loads of lime leaves. Mm. I wouldn't want to eat too much of it, but... Mm. Alloy. Right, next up, Pat Pat Bung. And I just saw the chef cooking this. He's got a bag the size of like a dustbin bag full of Pat Bung. And he's frying it over like a mad high heat. All right, that's the best dish so far. Who doesn't like... Who doesn't like a classic Pad Pat Bung? It's just fresh, it's crunchy. I didn't get any crispy pork. There's not much crispy pork in there. You're not expecting much for 50 baht all you can eat, are you? Overall, it's pretty solid. I've just found a hot dog in my Mu Yor, which is not for me. I think it's a little bit of Mu Yor and a lot of hot dog, say crop. But what more do you really want for 50 baht? all you can eat. So as you can see behind me, this place is hyper popular with the local workers. You've got office workers, you've got grab workers, you've got taxi drivers, you know, people that are gonna have to watch the pocket a little bit. They can come here and they can pay 50 baht and they can fill up as many times as you want. You can have six or seven plates of this, that'll last you all the way through. You've got a um, temper expectations to what you're getting. You're getting a buffet that is an all you can eat buffet for less than $1.50. This is like £1.20. Um, so obviously it's not going to be the finest ingredients in the world, but he is doing an amazing job keeping the cost down and making things like the crispy chicken skin taste that good on a budget. So if I wasn't going to another restaurant right now, I would just eat the rest of the dishes. So you've got a Wun Sen dish. As I said, you've got the Pad Na Mai Maleng Porda bamboo with the mussels you've got a crispy fish dish you've got two curry dishes and i think they do vary from day to day so i mean if you're staying in this area at lampini park it's definitely worth coming to see this because it is pretty cool the fact that he feeds so many people for so little money yeah. on, Cub. right so just a heads up i'm walking to polo fried chicken there's lampini park here's actually a walkway you can walk all the way from here to benjakati park which is the park that's by Prom Pong BTS station. So you can actually walk quite easily from here all the way to Prom Pong through a nice little walkway. So let me know if you want me to do that. Okay, so there's actually two shops a few doors down from each other. There's an air conditioned one where you sit down and eat and then there's the original where they actually cook the chicken that says the polo fried chicken on the front. All right, so we've, I've, been, I've been given a VIP treatment. I've been letting to check out these fried bad boys. All right, guys, so here is the world famous all right guys this is a little bit more like it for me personally a little bit isan food in one of the most famous places in bangkok polo fried chicken formerly known as jay ki because jay ki was actually the owner's mother she passed the shop down to him and she used to sell this original fried chicken recipe in lumpini park over 60 years ago. This restaurant has been here for 55 years, I am told, and uh, it's been popular since the day it opened. So let's take a little look at exactly what we've got. So I've ordered the famous Gaid Hard fried chicken, and the beautiful thing about this is actually the fried garlic, the 
Graziam Giao that they put on top. And that's what this shop is actually most famous for. It is a thing of pure beauty. Now, I've never been a massive fan of the fried chicken here, with the breast anyway, because I find that the breast sometimes can be a little bit dry. But what I have always loved is this crispy fried garlic. So I'm quite excited about that today. I've also got Kor Mo Yang, which is grilled pork neck. And the marbling on this is just incredible. It's what guanciale is made out of, which is the cut that you should make carbonara with. So if you're making carbonara at home, that's what you need. This comes with its own unique dipping sauce, Nam Chim Mo. And the fried chicken comes with your choice of Nam Chim Gai, which is sweet chili sauce, or Nam Chim Gel, which is a tamarind, palm sugar, fish sauce, and smoky chili flake dipping sauce. Okay, because it's the star of the show, we are gonna start with the chicken. So I'm gonna grab a leg first, dip it in this jowl sauce. Some of that garlic has already stuck to the chicken. Mm. Oh, forget KFC. Okay, leg, super, super tender. It's been cooked in a soy sauce marinade with a little bit of garlic, as I can tell. And it's not floured like fried chicken, like southern fried chicken, no, KFC style chicken. It's not, it's not battered like that. This is just dipped and fried. So it's crispy, but it's not like, it's not like, batter or breadcrumb crispy, it's just crispy, skin crispy. Like the soy sauce marinated, where they fried it, it's like caramelized, it's like sweet, salty. You've got that bitter, sweet, crunchy gratiam gel in every bite because it's literally stuck to every piece of the skin. The gel sauce, mm. ultra tart, ultra sour. High, high level of uh, tamarind in there, which I absolutely love. Fish sauce and palm sugar, very, very simple. Mm. And that is just perfectly soft, perfectly juicy. And that is the best piece of chicken I've ever had in here. I think the two other times I've been in here to eat, I've ended up with chicken breast and, it, and it's just, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's been a little dry. Mm. This is fantastic, and that jiao is amazing. All right, next up, let's try the komu yang. Now this does look good. Super, super smoky. Mm. That actually tastes like it's been smoked rather than grilled. I know they, I know they, cooked it over coals, so it's gonna have that smoky flavor. But this actually tastes like it's been put in a smoker. The dip, little sweet for me. Little sweet for me. Who, who guessed I was gonna say that? But it's not too bad. Very garlicky, but I think I'm actually gonna stick with the Nam Jim gel. Mm. Absolute combo. Smoky chili. Smoky pork. Mm. It's so soft, so tender. Oh, it's perfect. Perfectly trimmed, just enough fat to keep it moist, but not too much fat. Mm. Yeah, it's delicious. That's actually better than the chicken. I could literally just eat bowls and bowls of this crispy garlic. It's the little Thai garlic we keep the skins on, so you just pound it all up and fry it. I just keep it in like a big pot. And I could just stick my face in the pot and just. Ah, oh, oh, so good. All right, I'm gonna try the breast, just because. I mean, it's not like, it's not horrifically dry. Like, I'm not like, it's not like a stringent, it's not making my mouth go dry or anything, but when, if you try and cook a whole chicken breast like that, fry a whole chicken breast, by the time the middle of it's cooked, because it's so dense, it's already overcooked. So, you know, unless you're taking the breast off and cooking it separately, 
it's always going to be a little bit dry but i know a lot of my tire friends actually like like drier tougher meat like um i went to this gayang place that soaks the chicken in milk and it's so soft and so tender and all my tire friends didn't like it they were like yeah that's too soft so you know it is just what you like me i would stick to the leg uh the wings uh the thigh that's a bit of me what can i say i'm a thigh over breast man okay so last but not least i'm gonna try this cucumber sometime i'm not sure what's happened here but there's no chili in it um so that must have been a user error that must have been lost in translation because she said do you want tum thai or pala and i said tum thai and then she said gim ped dai mai and i said gim ped dai maybe she thought i said gim ped mai dai um but yeah this there's, there's no chili in this at all i think there's like half a chili in this but anyway we've got some plump kong heng some dried shrimp we've got some shredded cucumber thai garlic lime juice palm sugar fish sauce uh, and some tomatoes the reason i love tum dang kwa is that it's so fresh and so refreshing as you know i like the like the sum tum kao pod the sweet corn sometime a lot with chicken but i've started to eat this a lot because it's fresh but if you leave it like i have for a little bit on the table the salt in the fish sauce draws all the moisture out of the cucumber and creates like this fresh dressing at the bottom mixed with all that tomato juice the palm sugar the lime juice the fish sauce heaven But the freshness of the cucumber is the perfect accompaniment to all that fried garlic, the fried chicken, the fatty pork. You need something fresh and sharp, zingy, just to round everything off. It's, it's not spicy at all, but I could obviously ask him to put more chili in. My wife would really like that, Helen would really like that because it's not too fishy. If you took out the dried shrimp, that would be a perfect sometime. No chili, no fish sauce. But yeah, not bad at all. So again, as I said earlier, you can sit next door in air conditioning. Just me, I like to be, I'm a weirdo like that. I like to be in the original shop with all the pictures on the wall. Explaining all about the history of the shop and I like to see the kitchen, I like to see what they're up to. They've clearly been doing this so long. It's again, like muscle memory, like all the places I go to, they are just smashing out chicken after chicken after chicken. They've all got their own job. One's doing sometimes, one's just putting sauces in, one's serving, one's doing the chicken. Um, it's like a military operation, again. Um, and they've just got hundreds of chickens in a big pot. All in all, a very good experience. I hope you enjoyed it, today's video around Lumpini Park. I hope you enjoyed it, especially Vanessa. Let me know in the comment section below. And let me know where else you guys want me to go. I'm gonna hit Sukhumvit next week. I'm actually going to Hanoi next weekend to do some videos with Paddy Doyle, so keep an eye out for those. But until then, stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.